This is the column mapping template using Bing Maps, which is a Microsoft mapping platform for SharePoint. And what we have here is a box. This is something you can show in a column in SharePoint based on location data. Microsoft does provide a free to use API to display map image map images um, up to a certain amount. Um, and in normal cases, uh, that will work just fine. You can go ahead and sign up and get a free account to take advantage of this. If you look in the lower left corner in the notes, there's a link to the Bing Maps API documentation, and that will help you get started so that you can get a key. And that is part of what's required to use this template. So in this template screen, you're going to see one of the fields which says Bing API key. I've already pasted mine in and that will allow you the ability to take advantage of mapping. Now once you've got that set, you have some settings you can adjust to control the size of the tile and then uh, there are different map types. So if you hit that drop down and change that, um, you're going to see that there are different versions of that. So you can choose whatever is most appropriate and looks nice for use in your list. And then in your SharePoint list, all that you need is simple location information. That can be uh, just the name of a city and state or region. It could be a full address. Uh, in general, the tool that renders that map is smart enough to interpret that and render your information. So I just need a text field in SharePoint to pass along that mapping information in order to get those tiles. So let's go ahead and copy this template. And I'm going to click on the copy template button and follow the directions in the pop-up. Then go to your SharePoint list. Hover over the column header, go to column settings, format this column, then click on advanced mode and paste in your formatting code. And there we go. Now with this template, when you hover and click on the map, it'll actually open up to a full map page um, if you want to interact with that. So that just lets you dive deeper, um, uh, you know, just in a convenience for the user. Another setting that's important is the zoom. You may want to adjust that to, um, you know, control how zoomed in it is to that location. So that has many different settings. So um, I just adjusted that. Let's try a different um, map type. And I can copy the template. You can optionally choose whether the address appears below and you can control the um, font size and um, other settings as well. So I'll copy that and then um, let's go ahead and adjust the um, height and the width. Let's try a little bit smaller just to see what that looks like. And I will copy the template and then I can just replace the code that I put in earlier and I'll get updated map images. And then the um, the push pin, that's always going to show right in the center of the map. That's the actual specific location of what was provided. So hopefully you find that useful. If you're interested in showing maps inside of your SharePoint environment based on location data, this is a really easy to use template. I also want to note you can use Google Maps as well. There are additional templates for Google Maps. Um, so if you go into our site, you can look at the mapping section and you'll see there's multiple different mapping templates. This is available at SharePointDashboards.com. If you're new to this, you can sign up for a free account, which includes 20 free templates. And then you can go on to take advantage of this and many other professional templates with the subscription option. I hope you found that useful. And I hope you're soon showing nice looking maps inside of your SharePoint environment. And I wish you good luck.